The number one song of the year was Happy by Pharrell Williams, and that's exactly what these two were about to be. It was almost eight years ago at a going away party for Taylor. Where are you? Where are you, Taylor? <laughs> Can you come up here for a sec? Yes, I know I'm going to embarrass you. No, I'm not going to embarrass you. Just come up. So you get today's Cupid Award because you were the one that introduced them. So congratulations on your award. That's a prestige award that's um, from a $2 shop. <clears throat> Although Jake and Remy had met previously, it wasn't until this particular night at the grain store they started talking. And they haven't stopped since. What followed was a half first date rock climbing, despite being an incredibly afraid of heights. The second date was to a trampoline park which took all of about a minute of being there for Remy to fall and slide on her face. Were you there to pick her up? Or did you laugh? Yeah, he laughed. Yeah, of course he did. Probably went, meh. <laughs> a third date where I accidentally poisoned Jake because we went to an Italian restaurant and it turns out he's allergic to olive oil. <laughs> which finally culminated in the most romantic spot ever for our first kiss. The dance floor at Fanny's. Okay. <laughs> Finnegan, sorry. Jake, ever since I was little, I've always dreamed of adventure. And standing in front of you today, I know that spending my life with you. God damn it. <laughs> this is the greatest adventure I could ever have. There's so many reasons I love you. You're kind, you're loyal, the goofiness. <laughs> the way that you see the world completely baffles me, but I still love you for it. I love that you take care of me, even when I try and drop and catch a knife with my foot. <laughs> I love that you make me feel safe enough to be completely myself. The good, the bad, and the weird. <sighs> You're my favourite human, my teammate, my best friend, in my home. I can't wait to start the rest of our life together and start the next chapter of our story, which I'm sure is going to be a long and epic one. Remy. I invited you here today because you're the most beautiful, intelligent, and fun woman I've ever met. I love that you challenged me to be more adventurous through your love of traveling and also the way that you challenged me with your chaotic thoughts. I promise to always try my best to look after you and make your life easier wherever I can. I love you. To love, laughter, and happily ever after. Remy and Jake, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Over the years, Remy was always very adamant. Very, very adamant, never going to get married. Wasn't, wasn't something she was interested in. And then she met Jake and all of a sudden this really foreign concept of love and what it means to marry somebody and the devotion that it requires just made sense for her and there was nothing she wanted more than to be by Jake's side for the rest of their lives. And they said the sign of a great marriage is uh, when each partner sickly thinks they got the better end of the deal and I think I got the better end of the deal. I think that we all know uh, from the obvious love and affection between Rem and Jake that they are truly soulmates and in reality they will be great examples of um, who or what makes a great marriage.